what is up? It's your girl Rachel with Nighttime Mommy Reviews and I'm back again with the all new Ninja Foodie Flip Toaster. You guys, this is a two-in-one where it lays down for the toaster mode and we'll get into that as well. And it flips up for easy counter storage as a regular toaster. So we will be reviewing that. We'll be going all going over all of the specs, all of the details, and we're gonna do a couple of demos so I can show you guys the different shades, how to use the machine, and so on. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed for more videos on new kitchen technology as it's released. And let's get started. So what do we have here? As if Ninja didn't make it all already, we have the all new, the Ninja Foodie Flip Toaster. Just as I said, it is a toaster and it has rapid oven technology. We'll be demoing that today. Now, we'll go over the specs first. Now this Ninja Foodie Toaster retails for $129.99. The dimensions are that it's 16.54 inches wide. So from here to here, it's 6.7 inches in height or in uh, in depth. So when it's laying down, it's 8.42 inches. And then what we have here is it's 6.7 inches from top to bottom. Now this machine weighs 11 pounds. You can flip the, to the toaster oven up for toaster mode and you can flip it down to unlock the oven mode. Now you can't do oven mode while it's standing up. You can only do it when it's laying down. Now what we have here in terms of the functions is we have toast, bagel, defrost, bake, broil, and reheat functions. Now, as you can tell, the slot looks a lot wider than a traditional toaster oven, and that is the case. They made the slot 70% wider than a traditional slot, and that helps with bagels and so many of the thicker things that you can cook in here. And you can even do grilled cheese, and I'll show you that. Now the oven also goes up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. It's perfect for nuggets, bagel bites, grilled cheese. It's easy to clean, so it advertises. So this crumb tray here, or this tray, is easy to clean. And it's both the toaster and an oven. So we're gonna go ahead and demo all of those features, go over all of the functions. Okay, so I've zoomed in a bit so that we can see all of the features. So when you turn it on, in order to get it started right now, because it's laying down, it's only going to give you the oven function. You have to press this all the way so that it locks. Once this is locked, and I'll show you at the top, you have the unlock icon and the lock icon. Then you have the options to bake, and you can change the temperature here with the plus or minus signs. I believe if you hold it, you can see it goes down in increments of five degrees. And it goes down, let's see as low as it goes. Two, 250 degrees Fahrenheit. 400 degrees Fahrenheit for the top heat for bake function. For broil, you only have 400 degrees and for reheating, you have 300 degrees Fahrenheit. You can start or stop. I'll stop here. For the toaster, which we're going to get into, you have toast, bagel, and defrost. I'm going to flip the camera over and raise the toaster oven so we could take a look at that as well. Okay, so I have an overhead view. And as you see, when you flip it up to toaster mode, it will automatically switch to the toaster mode. You have the option of, let's see here, how many shade range, what's the shade range? You have shade ranges from one to seven. For bagel, I believe you have the same options. And you can change it with the shade plus or minus. For defrost, same thing, one through seven. Now at the back of your toaster, what you have here is a removable crumb tray. Super easy to clean, you guys. All the crumbs fall to the bottom. All you do is remove the tray, clean, snap back in, 
and it's ready to go for the next round. Now what I like about this toaster is that you can do the toast or you would do the toast side by side whereas a traditional toaster is you put them in front of each other. So it is a wider toaster but it is thinner. But it allows you to have thicker slices of bread which is something that I like. So what I'll do is I'm going to show you guys the first shade. We're going to go through the whole video with the first shade and then I'll do all the shades one through seven with regular white bread and see so that you guys can see the shade differences here. So for level one it's a minute and 30 seconds and we'll be back. Okay so this is level one. It's toasted like where it's crusty but so it's it's hard but it you don't see much in terms of toast. Now what we have here are all seven shades. We'll start with level one which took a minute and 30 seconds. Level two it was around 1 minute and 40 seconds, I believe. Level 3 was 2 minutes. Level 4, which was about 2 minutes and 15 seconds. Level 5 is 2 minutes and 30 seconds. Level 6. And level 7. So as you can see, and I don't think even level 1 is worthy of being in the video. It's toasted, but not really. It's just... A tougher toast um, but level two through seven here definitely I would say I'm probably a level three or four I don't think I would go higher than that what level are you guys you guys let me know in the comments what you guys like in terms of uh, your level of doneness for your toast now I wanted to do a little test here or something just to I guess compare to so what I have here is our toaster that we've used for the last year and now we're transitioning to the Ninja. I'll show you guys something. There's some bagels that you typically can't fit all the way in a standard toaster. They're just too thick. But if you add it here, I'll show you guys there's still space. You can have some pretty thick toast here and it's going to cook just fine because the depth allows it to go even lower. So once you go lower, look it. And it started, so I'm gonna cancel that. But when I place it in a regular toaster, that's as low, as low as I can go. So not only is it not toasting at the top, Oh, so not only is it toasting at the top, but it just, if you have a larger bagel, you're not going to be able to cook it. But in this toaster oven, you have the ability to have some pretty large bagels. Now I will toast a bagel right now. All right, so here we have our bagel. You guys look at this. Perfect. This is level four and I am loving this. Add some cream cheese and it is perfect. Now it is super hot so I'm going to stop touching it. But you guys, this is a toaster for $129. I've seen some at other stores for $100, even $70. So um, when it's on sale, definitely I would take advantage of getting this toaster because when it's compared to other toasters, even on the higher end market, it does everything else that they do except a little more. I mean, you have a toaster function here or a oven function that allows you to make a grilled cheese, make bagel bites, make chicken nuggets if you wanted to. And I've seen all of that in the Ninja community, you guys. So on Facebook, Ninja community has a group where you can share your recipes, you can share questions. There's so many things that you can do in that community and this is where to do it. So you guys make sure you let me know in the comments what you guys think. Is this something that you think you would buy? Is it affordable? Let me know in the comments. But until next time, you guys have a great night.